it to be the, the, the real version of a movie. And, but that's the hard part though. That movie's inspirational. And in my life, there's a lot of times in my life where it wasn't so inspirational. There's a lot of lonely moments where there was no going the distance song in the background to keep me going. Man, there's a lot of times, there's a lot of quiet times, a lot of failure, a lot of disappointments, a lot of starting from scratch. But that's when I started to develop a different mentality. And I started to develop a mentality of, this is where it's at. Where you find out where you're at is when you're at the fucking lowest part of your life. So I started to develop a whole new mindset. Like, the lowest part of my life used to make me feel bad. The lowest part of my life now, it actually gives me strength because I know so many people stop. That's where they quit. When, when they get to the fucking sewer of life versus looking at it saying, oh yeah, motherfucker, now let's see what the fuck is up. <laughs> let's see what the fuck is up now. Let's see the millions of men out here in this world. They're not going where I'm willing to go now. This is where people stop. And this is where I started to develop the different mentality is, you want to test my resolve? You want to test my ability to go to the distance? That's where that mentality started for me. Because I started saying, man, you always end up in the dungeon. You got to find strength in that motherfucker or no one else does. So that, that Rocky movie was a little bit of a spark, but to become that person, it takes a lot. You know what's funny about me, man? I have zero anger. I'm a passionate guy, so I, but I get it though. The yeah. way I talk, the way I come across, I'm an aggressive guy because that's what it takes to, like, if you walk into a situation, into a fight, I'm not saying be so aggressive that you're, that you're so aggressive that, that, that you're making bad moves. But if you don't have a little flame burned in you knowing that I might get fucking hit real fucking hard, and when I get hit, I have to attack. I have to, I have to, I have to bring, I can't get knocked out. You have to have that mentality of, when I went to Hell Week, I knew I was gonna get broken. I had to have an internal flame in me that can never be, it, it couldn't be kindling. Kindling, you put the water in the fucking kindling, that fucking shit's out. I had to be a motherfucking tree that is burning hard, it's burning for a long fucking time. And that's what I became, man. So it's not anger. Anger can't sustain you for a long period of time. Because once you get in a situation, try, trust me, I tried it before. When you get in a real hard situation, and you're miserable, miserable. That anger is gone. What comes up is real. The real feeling of who you are and where you're at, you don't wanna care about the people who made fun of you in high school. Cause now, you're, you become selfish. You're like, let's say you're in hell with you in that cold fucking water, it's 50 fucking degrees, and you're, right now you're sitting there thinking, oh fuck dude, like, your mind's not thinking, those fucking kids in high school bullied me. No, you're thinking, so that anger can fuel you for so long. There has to be something so deep in you that drives you. So what, what really does it for me is I know what we're capable of. And I know that most human beings aren't willing to go where I am. And that's a very, very dangerous thing. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody else. Everybody has this talent. It's not a talent. It's just realizing that we stop way short of our true potential. So through my life, I realize these things. And I know what gives me fuel is I know that most people who are blessed with so much talent, great parents, great upbringing, didn't come from where I come from. They're gonna quit before me. Having all the tools that they have, they didn't have the ability to examine themselves. When you have everything so nice in life, it's, it's great to have a great life. But what happens is you don't self-examine. You don't do a live autopsy. When you have a fucked up life, it almost forces you to do a live autopsy. It forces you to find strength from places that no one looks from. Because food is not at the ready. You know, you're me, I have a learning disability. It's not at the ready. I can't just pick up a book and start reading. There's preparation behind everything I fucking do. There's, there's, everything I do has to come with so much fucking preparation. It's despicable, it makes me sick. My own personal life makes me sick. That's why I'm so disciplined now. Without my self-discipline, there is no David Goggins. Like, I can't like stop reading. I won't be able to read tomorrow. It will, I will lose it that fast. You know, I, you know, I cannot stop going to the gym. My mind is set up in a spot where, hey, the second I stop, it wants to stop because I had a quitting mind growing up. Your mind 
wants to go to that nice spot where you're comforted, where you're not trying, where shit is easy. That's where your mind, it doesn't want to think. You have all these things in the mind and, and the mind can only absorb so much shit. So all the pain it has to go through, it, does, it wants to push it away, so let's not do that. So every day I'm fighting where the mind wants to go. So it's a, it's a, it's a, constant, it's a constant evolution, man. I'm, I've never arrived. I've never, I'm, I'm kind of, that's right now, I'm stressing out two, three hours a day. Every, I'm, I'm trying to reinvent the wheel. I'm like, oh man, I went through Navy SEAL training being fucked up. I ran over 7,000 miles in 2007 being fucked up. I did pull-up records being fucked up. Now that the mind is so fucking strong, let the body catch the mind. So that's now where I'm at. So I'm always trying to reinvent the wheel and see what I'm capable of next. If you want to win and you want to guarantee success and you want to guarantee that you are going to get where you want to get, because that's what everybody wants. Everybody wants the guarantee. That's why they ask so many questions. You know, they say, how long is it going to take? What's the best way to get here? What's this? What's that? And they analyze all these different things and they try to come up with this, you know, college auditorium size blackboard full, full of formulas and, and graphs and all these things that are going to make us more successful. They're going to make us more money. They're going to get us the respect that we're looking for, the recognition that we look for. Uh, they're going to help us build the lives that we want. We try to plan all of these things out. And the problem is for most people is they come to a point where they are overwhelmed by the information. And every once in a while, you've just got a bottom line shit. And you've got to say, what's the fucking bottom line here? And the bottom line for you and the bottom line for me and the bottom line for every other motherfucker on this planet is really simple. If you want to be great, if you want to get the recognition, if you want to get fucking paid, if you want all of the things that you dream about, there is only one way to guarantee that you will have those things. Only one. And that is becoming so fucking good at what you do, no matter what it is you do, that it is undeniable that other people recognize how great you are. And the great thing about this concept, it is not limited to um, having to do something that everybody thinks is worthy. Because becoming undeniable is not something that sticks with you in a certain role. It's a character trait that you fucking develop. That means any place that you are put, you will put in the work. You will learn the skills. You will improve your arsenal to become the undeniable best in that role. And if you have that attitude to where it doesn't matter if you're cooking French fries or you're making $10 billion business deals, you are going to be the absolute best that you can fucking be. And there's nothing that can stop you, okay? It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter who your fucking parents are, okay? Dude, we can make every excuse in the book. But I promise you, for every excuse you can make, there are literally thousands of people who had it harder than you that have done what the fuck you want to do. There is nothing that can fucking stop you when you become so skilled that every single person around you sees that and it recognizes that. And that is a habit. That is not a gift. That is something that you can create. It's a skill you can learn. So develop the skill of becoming undeniable if you really want to guarantee your success. Stop thinking about this formula or that formula or this formula over here or what this guy says or what that guy says because the truth is what they're really saying is some sort of complicated version of what the fuck I'm telling you here. Okay? Be fucking great. Put the time in to learn the skills. Put the skills into practice and make a commitment to becoming so good that all your peers say, that's the motherfucker that's the best. And if you can do that, no matter where you are, no matter if you're cooking French fries, no matter if you're managing the restaurant, no matter if you own a thousand restaurants, no matter if you created the fucking brand, you cannot be stopped. Becoming undeniable is the only skill you need to remember.